Hey everyone, it's Alex, and I am back with another video update for the 75th Golden Globe Awards. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes as I did in my last video, that's because I filmed this video and the one coming after this video all back to back to back. So I shot all three videos at once, but edited and uploaded them separately since they're all about different things. My previous video was about the announcement of the Golden Globe Ambassador, formerly known as Miss or Mr. Golden Globe. Now I'm here to talk about the actual host of the Golden Globe Awards. And this year, the host of the Golden Globe Awards is none other than Seth Meyers. And personally, I think this is a fantastic choice. I'll get more into that after I read the press statement. But here's what the Hollywood Foreign Press Association has to say about this. And we have a host. Seth Meyers will serve as MC of the 75th Golden Globe Awards ceremony. The host of NBC's Late Night with Seth Meyers will step into a role that in recent years has been Tina Fey's and Amy Poehler's, Ricky Gervais's, and most recently Jimmy Fallon's. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association is excited to have Seth Meyers host the 75th Annual Golden Globe Awards, said HFPA President Meher Tatna. With his natural comedic wit and innate ability to charm audiences, Seth will help us carry on the celebratory tradition of recognizing the best in television and film at the party of the year. The writer-comedian is a 12-year veteran of Saturday Night Live, both in the writer's room and behind the desk of Weekend Update. The one-time SNL head writer, he succeeded fellow Globes host Tina Fey in that capacity, is also no stranger to award shows, having done the honors for the 2010 ESPY Awards and for the Primetime Emmys in 2014. Now he will take on Globes duties in our Diamond Jubilee edition. The 75th Annual Golden Globe Awards presentation will take place on Sunday, January 7, 2018. The ceremony will air on NBC Live Coast to Coast at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Nominations will be announced Monday, December 11. And so there you go. Seth Meyers is now the fifth person in a row uh, with ties to NBC to host this show. Uh, if you've noticed, pretty much all the other past hosts have had some sort of ties to NBC. Uh, Ricky Gervais, uh, he was an executive producer of The Office, which aired on NBC. Uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, they were both on Saturday Night Live, which was on NBC. And both of their shows after Saturday Night Live, 30 Rock and Parks and Recreation, were also on NBC. And of course, Jimmy Fallon has also has a talk show on NBC. So although NBC always likes to pick people from their own network, for the most part, they've always done a pretty good job. Uh, Ricky Gervais was pretty good for most of the times he hosted. Sometimes he might have gone a little too far with some of his jokes. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, they were easily the best out of all these hosts in the past few years. Uh, they were so good when they hosted the first time that they were contracted to host for two more years, and they knocked it out of the park each time. They were just absolutely hilarious. Their opening monologues would just leave me gut-busting with laughter because it was just so funny. And Jimmy Fallon, eh, his opening skit montage, which was pre-filmed, that was pretty hilarious, but some of his jokes were... Eh, apparently there was a faulty teleprompter at one point, but then he was doing this weird rap thing at one point, and yeah, it just, it, it just wasn't as good as you wanted a show hosted by Jimmy Fallon to be, because he had hosted the 2010 Emmy Awards, and he was fantastic when he hosted that. He was just underwhelming. But uh, Seth Meyers, I think, is a good choice, because he was hilarious on Saturday Night Live with his weekend updates, uh, he's, I don't watch his show all the time because there's so many celebrity talk shows, I can't always sit down and watch them, I just watch YouTube clips, basically. From what I have seen, his stuff is really good, especially his, uh, take on politics, uh, because, you know, Jimmy Fallon on his talk show doesn't always like to go into politics, but Seth Meyers does, and he, all, I like how he always skewers Donald Trump. Stephen Colbert might be the king of skewering Donald Trump, but Seth Meyers is definitely a close second. But he's overall just a very funny guy, and he was very funny when he hosted the 2014 Emmys, and I'm sure he'll, he'll have a lot of great jokes for this ceremony. I'm sure he's going to have a lot of Donald Trump jokes, and I know some people will be like, 
please, no jokes about politics, but unfortunately it's probably going to be hard to not make jokes about politics because if you've been paying attention to the news for the past year, regardless of what side of the po political aisle you're on, it's hard not to talk about politics. And if Seth Meyers doesn't make at least one political joke, I think people are going to be like, are we living in a bubble? But I'm sure he'll find some way to be balanced enough to make a lot of political jokes, but not bombard the audience and the viewers at home with too many of them. Because the job of any host is to keep the show moving along and be funny. And I think he'll be able to do that, but we'll see. But anyway, those are my thoughts on Seth Meyers hosting the Golden Globe Awards. I think he's a great choice. But let me know in the comments section below what you think of Seth Meyers being chosen as the host. Is he a good choice? Is he a bad choice? Is he a meh choice? Is there anyone else you might have preferred to see host the show? Let me know what you think below. And please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet already done so, so you can get all my new videos as soon as they're uploaded. And stay tuned for... The next video that will be coming out after this, in which I am still dressed like this, in which I talk about a, a historic announcement in regards to the Screen Actors Guild Awards. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys later. Bye!